Or hey, can I get around this load? I'm gonna adjust the fact of companies. You cannot put a lot of trust in some companies. They they will not work with you on trying to make sure that you're on time to well, my personal experience, most of the companies I came across, they don't work with you on trying to make sure that you could still be involved with the family and still work. Like, hey, can I get a load around this day because it's a graduation? Or, hey, can I get around this load on this day because it's a birthday or anniversary? They'll be like, yeah, 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 yeah. They won't let you be there on time, but they'll let you be there. Or sometimes they... They'd be like, nah, we don't trust you. Why would you hire me and you don't trust me? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. It's unfortunate that uh, companies act that way towards their drivers. But as us drivers we know what we was getting into recruiters could say everything that's good under the sun to get you in that seat their job is done now it's just you and the dispatcher or your fleet manager now it's already unfortunate that when we get into this industry we sacrifice a lot things happens in trucking literally breakdown happens uh late 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 loads happens getting unloaded late happens a lot of things happens in trucking but it all boils down to the company that you choose to drive with. That's where research, reviews, talking to other drivers, networking, social media, all of that comes into play. Now, of course, mega carriers kind of feel some kind of way about their drivers because it is more of like a quality, quantity over quality. They got a lot of drivers that's probably hollering at their dispatchers, you know, for days off or such. You got dispatchers and fleet managers that's that got maybe about 10s and 20s and 30s of drivers on their fleet board and it's unfortunate that they can't accommodate everybody you have like a large coffee okay so hot coffee hot coffee somebody is going to get the short end of the stick you request days off you request special occasions you request that time with larger companies you literally got to get that information into them like maybe weeks in advance you have a graduation june 12th that that request had to be put in in february march maybe april to literally solidify that you have that day in June off emergencies, family emergencies. There's been situations where drivers got that ill fated call and they wasn't able to get home in time to be with their loved ones or take care of that situation. Again, that's where the companies you choose to drive for. Now, there are companies that are driver centric. Something happens, they will try their damnedest to get you home. Even if you have to leave the truck at a truck stop 
at a truck stop in a different state because that company values you that much to get you home so you could be with your family in that time of need. Now, I agree with you, young lady. You said that that company doesn't trust you. Well, if that company don't trust you, then why they hire you? You you just hired me just to be a, a seat filler. That's that's what they hired you for. They they don't they don't trust you because you're a new driver and you don't know they don't know if you can do the job. But you're you're not a new driver. If if you've been driving for quite a while, you should know the importance of getting the lows there on time. And I I agree. I, I, don't get me wrong. I agree because some of these things that these companies do makes you say hmm. But listen though, inconsiderate companies are not good companies to work for. And if you start seeing those type of red flags, then it's time to move on to the next company. Now, some people would say, hey, find smaller companies, they'll treat you better, and they'll, they'll, they'll be a lot better to work for. But sometimes smaller companies is not all that great either. It boils back to the company that you choose. I heard small companies, you know, did drivers wrong, as well as mid-sized companies that did drivers wrong. And of course, the mega carriers that do drivers wrong. So it just depends on what company you choose to work for. Now, Sometimes you will want to get with that company and you'll be like, yo, right now, let's get on the same. And what exactly am I supposed to not give a shit about? That's an excellent question to ask yourself in your actual voice. Excuse me. Some of us would like to order. Same page right now, right here, right now. The same way you want me to get that load on time is the same way I want to be home on time. You play with me, I'll play with you. If I say that I need to be home on June and I gave you the request way in advance, then when June, that day in June, I should either be at home or on my way home. I should be waking up in my bed on the day that I requested to be home. That's. That's how I look at it. When I request a day off, I, I don't want to be going home on that day. I want to wake up in my bed at home on that day that I request off. So if you request June 19th and you gave them enough time to get, to get that information in, then that request should be granted and you should be waking up in your bed on June 19th. Again, it comes back to the company you choose to drive for. A lot of these bigger companies, as well as small companies, they don't care. They don't care. And I, 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 I profiled a lot of companies that don't care. And those same companies that claims to care, they don't. Their recruiter comes and give you the milk. The, the, the information that they put out on, on Facebook, they give you the Oh! Somebody! Oh! He no. needs some milk! Milk. You see that everything is all right. You fall for the banana in the tailpipe, and then you get on with the company only to find out that that company is spoiled milk. He needs some milk. That's not good coffee. It's not good coffee at all. But again, it's unfortunate that it's, it's, it's the job. It's trucking. It's what it is. A lot of things happen. 
some of which is out of our control and i you know you got to understand that sometimes it's not the company's fault you get to a you get to a receiver and something happened at the receiver and it, it forces you to you know be there a little bit longer than when when you supposed to be there and now your your time is messed up now that you needed to be home you can't make it home because of the situations that happens out here we miss out on a lot of important things in our, in our lives but it boils down to the company that you choose because if you give it that right company that company that values you value you the most then some of the important anniversaries in your life you might not be able to miss out on if you and that company have a good reputation a good repertoire with each other then some of the things you might not be able to you know miss out on choose the company wisely okay it sucks but it is what it is 